Hi guys, I'm a Dimension Jumper, and today's video is going to be slightly different. Um, so basically, like a, lot, a few days ago, uh, Nintendo released uh, the latest Nintendo Direct Mini, and uh, it's basically at time of recording has more like or, or it has like the like to dislike ratio. Uh, it's a bit on par. I'm not too sure how many dislikes. Um, or like to test now, but you'll probably be seeing um, uh, what how many uh, there are um, right now, uh, and a lot of people are quite upset about this. It's not too hard to see why, mainly because um, uh, Nintendo fans, uh, especially myself, um, haven't had a major direct since uh, September, I believe, of last year, and. Yeah, and uh, ever since I saw the Direct, which was released on Monday, um, I, I've just come up with some uh, ideas that could have possibly improved the Direct. And some of the notes that I've written down, uh, I'm just going to be, I'm just going to talk about them in a random order. So, yeah, so to start off, uh, things off, uh, it could have been cool if there was some type of Mario announcement, because... Um, with it being Mario's 35th anniversary coming up, or has been, or whatever, I can't exactly remember uh, when, but it would have been nice to have some like kind of like Mario announcement, like whether it was a trailer for Mario Odyssey 2 or a collection of uh, remasters like uh, Mario 64 remaster, the Galaxy 2 remasters, or uh, Mario Sunshine remaster. Those kind of games would have been nice to see, like as a, like a as like, like a development, like or sort of like a small trailer uh, of sorts. Like if they did a small trailer, it could have been like you know uh, some clips of um, Mario Sunshine sixty four or the Galaxy games, but more in more HD, like something like that. And if they were doing like an, an uh, announcement for um, uh, Odyssey two, they could have said, "Oh, Mario Odyssey two coming out." Whenever, like 2021, 2022, whenever, I'm not too sure when, but it could have been cool if we had like Mario Odyssey 2 coming out in fall of 2021 or something like that. Um, yeah, so yeah, it could have been, it would have been cool to just have to see a um, sort of some, some type of Mario announcement. Uh, the next is that the Direct could have been a bit longer because overall the Direct was about eight minutes long. And now for me personally, the direct could have been up to 12 or 10 minutes 10 being minimum 12 being maximum now i think the last to me uh, mini direct was about 10 minutes i'm not i'm not too sure um i think it was though but for me i would have made it up to 12 minutes so then we can have like you know some of the other stuff like that people are kind of kind of expecting to see in this trailer oh not trailer direct so like you know new trailers um announcements that sort of thing and that brings up to my next point, um, which is new trailers for upcoming games. Now, one of them I want to mention is um, Bayonetta 3. And we only got like a teaser trailer with Bayonetta just doing all these healing uh, gun kick things. And then we, we then just got saw like a, the number 3 on what seems to be some type of disc type of thing. Which implies that Bayonetta 3 is in development or coming out soon. We, we're not too sure when it is coming out. But it would have been cool to see a Bayonetta 3 trailer and saying Bayonetta 3 coming out in uh, halfway through 2021 or something. I'm not too sure. But yeah, and also another trailer, um, Breath of the World 2. And it has been a full year since... Uh, the Breath of the Wild teaser trailer was shown, and it would have been cool to have um, more insight into what Breath of the Wild 2 could have been. So, for example, we could have seen like you know some dungeons, some bosses, some items, um, whatever. I wouldn't care as long as we had some type of trailers for um, Breath of the Wild 2 or some type of like you know just something something new that we haven't seen in the original teaser trailer. Uh, my next point is um, announcement dates for some of the uh, games. Now, uh, so for games like, you know, Breath of the Wild, it would have been like, you know, 
probably 2021, I would say either halfway through 2021 or in the or like towards the end of 2021. So one of those two areas if for, for Breath of the Wild and if it's something like um, Bayonetta 3, it would have been nice to have like, you know, oh, it's going to be released in November of 2020 or in March or whatever of 2021. Um, so yeah, it would be nice to have some announcements of when some of the upcoming titles would have been announced and when we would have some confirmation of how long we had to wait until those games would come out. And the final uh, point uh, that I want to make is that I feel like it should have been a full-on direct because um, if it had been a full-on direct then we have, and then a lot of people would have thought of, I think there would have been less backlash than it would have been if it was a, a direct mini. Uh, well, for me personally, for the direct mini that has hit just hit, that has just been released, I'm okay with it, but I would have wished it was a full-on direct. Um, and it would have been cool if it was a full-on direct because we would have gotten the games we have we have, we have seen in the uh, direct mini, but also some other um, stuff. So like you know, uh, Bayonetta under three. Nat Mario announcements, um, Breath of the Wild 2, um, Metroid Prime 4, and maybe Pikmin or something like that. It would just would have been nice if, if the Direct Mini was a, just a full on Direct and we could have seen what we could have gotten, like, you know, with, with, the, development, well, with the development of all these new games. So, yeah, so that, so these have been my um, improvements um, that I would have done to the recent uh, Direct Mini. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and see you in the next video.